Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about electrical wiring explained. In this video, I'll be covering BX wire, Romex wire, 20 amp wire and more. Let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have three simple examples of the wires that I spoke about and I'll be covering each of these and more as well. Now, just to clarify this, the 20 amp wire is also known as Romex wire, but I just classified it differently because this is 20 amp and this is 15 amp right here. Let's get right into the video. So each of these wires, as well as basically all electrical wiring for the most part, is insulated in the following ways. You're gonna have insulation around the outside of the wire, and then you're also gonna have certain wires insulated on the inside of the wire. So with BX wire, so what was, sorry, let me clarify this, with all of these wires, there's insulation on the outside, you can see right here, and then with all of these wiring types over here, there's also two wires insulated on the inside, okay? So what differentiates these is the following. With BX wire, you have this sort of metal insulation along the outside and it's more geared towards being more durable and being more resilient because it has a harder shell essentially okay now with Romex wire okay with both of these types of Romex wires you have this rubbery insulation this rubbery sheathing along the outside um, it's still quite durable but less durable than the metal along the BX okay so essentially you have BX over here which has the metal insulation and Romex has the rubbery insulation along the outside. Now within each of these wires are two insulated wires and a copper wire, okay? So what we have here is a, co a bare copper wire and then we have a black insulated wire which is your hot wire and a white insulated wire which is your neutral wire. And obviously when you are gonna be wiring these, you're gonna strip these down a little bit and then wire them up. You need to expose the copper within them. As you can see, there's copper within them, okay? Same thing with this, bare copper wire, okay? insulated black wire, which is your hot wire, insulated white wire, which is your neutral wire. Same thing with this right here, okay? So that's the similarities and the differences. Now, um, this is 15 amp wire, okay? Which is, it depends where you live, but like where I live, 15 amp wire is like standard for uh, light switches, lights and outlets um, and everywhere other than a kitchen. And then in kitchens, you usually get 20 amp wire um, because it's a little bit more durable. It can take more, right? 20 amp wire is, is more heavy duty, okay? Now with regards to, uh, yeah, like 20 amp wire, just to be clear, is a thicker gauge of wiring. So it can sort of take more, which is why you would want it in a kitchen because of kitchen appliances. You might have a coffee machine, you might have a mixer, and those generate more power, right? So they're gonna require more power. They're gonna draw more power, and that's why you would want the 20 amp wire in your kitchen. Now it depends on local codes. There are different codes, but where I live, you know, in modern builds, you're gonna get 20 amp wire in the kitchen for the most part at least, okay? So basically there are similarities and differences between these types of wires, okay? Now, in addition, you're gonna see some numbers when you're looking at wires. So you're gonna see something like, let's say 14.2. This is 14.2 wire as far as I can remember. 14 means the gauge of wires. So these are 14 gauge wires in here. And two is the number of insulated wires. So I know there's three, there's three wires in here, but two of them are insulated. So 14.2 means that there are two insulated wires and they're 14 gauge each. Now this, I believe is 12-2 as far as I can remember, which means these two insulated wires, which are the two, which is the two in that 12-2, are 12 gauges each, okay? So two insulated wires at 12 gauges each is 12-2 wiring. Very, very simple. And the way gauging works is the lower the number, the thicker the wire. 14 gauge wire is thinner than 12 gauge wire. 12 is a lower number, but it's it's a lower number in gaugeness, but it is a high, it is a thicker wire. That's how it works. In addition to these, you you can also have something like 14-3 wire, which is gonna have three different wires along with a bare copper wire. Your three different wires are gonna be two hot wires, and the, the, the color will depend on where you live and stuff like that, okay? But you're gonna have two hot wires, a neutral wire, and then a bare copper wire, which is why when you have 14-3 wire, you have three insulated wires, which would be the two hot wires and the one neutral wire, as well as the bare copper wire as the extra. So that's basically it. Um, as a rule of thumb, like where I live, if you're doing wiring and it's gonna be outside of the wall, and like I said, obviously check with your local regulations, but as a rule of thumb where I live, 
most of the time when you're doing electrical wiring and it's outside of the wall, you would go for something like BX wire because it's thicker, right? It's thicker, it's better. I've seen lots of exposed BX wire. If you go to like industrial places like a grocery store and there's exposed wiring, it's likely gonna be covered in a BX shield. However, if wiring is hidden behind the wall, as a rule of thumb, you're gonna go something like Romex for the most part. Now, like I said, it all depends on your local regulations, but that is essentially electrical wiring explained. I just wanted to give you a simple explanation. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.